Hi, I'm Orion from the band The Hemet, and you're watching The Impact magazine. So you can't care. Even though it's just February, but I think The Satanist is already in the top 5 of my 2014 list. Why did you have to postpone the release of the new album to this year? Uh, well, it was a long story and a long process, first of all. Uh, Evangelion was out 5 years ago and um, a year after we started touring for this album, uh, we got into these complications with uh, Nergal's health and him being hospitalized and diagnosed with leukemia and everything. So uh, yeah, that was a very long break that we had from playing on stage, but it wasn't really a break from, for the band at all, because uh, most of the time that he was in the hospital we were still working on the uh, band's business anyway, and we, we even released the DVD during this time. And then when we uh, when we got back on stage, we just wanted to finish the tours for Evangelion first, just to feel the chemistry back again. So it took us some time to to get to the point when we were ready to write some new music. But we truly feel we need it this time, and somehow all the efforts and all this uh, long waiting period was was really worth it, you know. So. Uh, well, there was some another complications on the way from the from preparing the material, from recording it, then with the mixing. First, the um, street date was set up to September 2013. We had to postpone it again because uh, of the mixing problems. Uh, we just had to change the person who was mixing our album after five week, five weeks of working on it. So there was just so many things. But after all, it led to uh premiere in february 2014 which gave us a lot of time to prepare all other things that are necessary before the album release so we were able to shoot a video to release the a single ep and do a lot of different stuff which as we can see now are helpful a lot which songs do you want to play the most from the new cd uh well, we've we've just started this tour and uh, we have prepared quite a lot of the new material to play live. Uh, actually, we're playing now half of the record. So uh, this is just the third show tonight, but we're... Well, we feel that what the band represents today and, and uh, the people that we feel like these days we just need to play as much for, from this album as possible. Actually, um, we're doing the first and the last song, Lower Your Trumpets, Gabriel, and O oh Father, O oh Satan, the Son, that's the one that we're closing the shows with. Beside that, we're doing Ora Pronobis, Lucifer, uh, Furo Divinus, and The Satanist, the title one. So, we're playing quite a lot from this one. And do you have any plans for the next video clip? Yes, we do. We already started talking about it. For now, it's uh, it's talking between us. It's um, just brainstorming and, and trying to find out the ideas for it. And looking for the people who would be the ones to, to make it. But for now, I can't really give you any details on it. But there's going to be at least one more video for this album. You always integrate a few old school tracks into the live set list, like Immortal Rights and Wolfgang McCuffin. Can we expect songs from these albums on this tour? Uh, yes, we're um, we're doing two old songs. I mean, one old song and one super old song. Super old one is Hidden in the Fog, 
and the other ones uh, driven by the five winged star from what was that pandemonic incantations right so we're switching these two every night just we don't really have that much time for for um, for the stage show because we're co-headlining this one with Cradle so we're, we're, we're having the same same time for, for the set so uh, tonight it's gonna be hidden in a fog the distribution of the first three albums is not the best at the moment do you plan to re-release them or perhaps re-recording an album with full of early Behemoth songs? Uh, yeah we have a lots of plans concerning uh, the first albums the, the situation is uh, legally complicated and it's it's um, it's different in Poland and different for all other areas but we're uh, we're working on it it's still gonna take some time but it's gonna happen is it re-recording or just re-releasing the albums re-releasing we're not gonna re-record anything uh, Shishtov Sigmar Olos from Resanya was yeah. one of your guests again on the new album what's the story with the band the last material you released was Destructive Killusion in 2007 uh well we we have just awakened <laughs> from this uh very long sleep you know we uh started rehearsing and and um working on some new things and started recording a new album we'll be mixing this one in quite soon march this year uh at the moment we were waiting for um all the labels and everything that's gonna still take some time before it's all um, consulted and decided so I'm not really able to say who's gonna be um, the one to release the album because we uh, we've just uh, broken the deal with uh, Napalm for Europe but yeah the new albums in the making were uh, planning on a European tour in September this year with uh, Vader. Hopefully see you there. Your other band, Black River, seems to be quite popular in Poland. Do you plan to go on a European tour, maybe with acid drinkers? The band's no more, and uh, I think this story is just over big time. We had some uh, issues with the uh, vocalist being seriously sick, and, and he's not coming back to singing. So, um, yeah, the band doesn't exist since a few years and I don't think there's any chance to continue it. You have a couple of different projects. Is there any plans for other ones? In what uh, other kinds of music would you like to try yourself? Well, I <clears throat> currently I, I don't really have a time for, for anything else. Uh, I'm doing Behemoth and Visania and beside it I'm, I'm not even at home for most of the time so uh, well I think I I, uh, I found what I really need I'm not saying that nothing is gonna happen in the future maybe occasionally mm, some things may happen you know but I'm not planning on it I'm, I'm planning to do the best I can for these two bands at the moment and Behemoth has just started the tour and it's it's gonna be a long tour it's gonna be like two years of playing and between Behemoth tours I'm gonna do shows with Basania so I'm not going back home this year actually so no other projects in the, in the newest perspective for me at all and if you had a chance to... if I had a chance Meaning what? What 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 would it, what would it be? What kind of music? Well, uh, I would I would choose it something to be not too stressful, you know, because the the chances that I have are rather um, minimal time wise. So that would be probably another rock band. More and more Polish extreme metal bands became popular in the last few years. Do you look at this uh, like a new wave of metal, something like the melodic death metal scene was from Sweden in the 90s? I don't get it, really. Um, they all sound the same to me. It's like coming to this year and going out with this one, you know. It, it doesn't really get me at all. I, I, I'm, I know some of them and I, uh, I've heard some of the records, but I don't really see 
too much of a difference. How about the Polish Extreme Big Four Tour with the Behemoth Vader decapitated and hate? Polish Big Four. <laughs> Uh, well, we've had some plans to go on tour with Vader. You know, it's always the the matter of uh, of politics. You know, to do uh, two such bands on one tour, and it's not really easy to to deal with because each of the bands um, needs some conditions to be made for this band, and and it's very hard to combine all of them on one tour. So, we're not saying no, but there's no such plans at the moment. And what do you do when That's you're not busy with uh, one of your bands? Uh, Any hobbies? That, that really never happened recently, at least for the last uh, two or three years. Well, um, I um, work at the studio sometimes, so I'm uh, also recording some music and, and being a music producer. Uh, beside that, whenever I have some free time, I, I you know, try to just go on some vacations and, and have some time for myself, but that doesn't really happen. So in my free time, which is, I don't know when, I'm trying to just to you know, stay stay calm and quiet and away from from all the hustle and all the harm with with the bands, but uh, feeling I'm feeling like what I'm doing is my 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 passion and, and and everything, and I it's not often that I need time off from the music. What did you do before Behemoth? Uh, I was at the university studying, um, doing Bessania also because we started this band in '97, I believe. And yeah, I was just still studying and and, and being a metal musician. Same thing, you know, just not professionally. What does Satanism mean to you? Uh, well, that's that's very. Uh, that's a very personal question, actually. Uh, we chose this uh, this title for the record, and this word, the Satanist, means something a little different for each single one of us. Uh, but at the same time, there's uh, there's a lot of common points in what we understand about it. Uh, it's mm, it's one of the things in my life that were or are crucial for for uh, uh, for my thinking and the way I see the world, but if you if you ask me if uh, if I'm practicing any religion, then I say no. And uh, if I can if I can name myself with uh, one of the religion names, then I would say there is no such word. Uh, if we are talking about um, archetypes of behavior and, and uh, symbols that are the strongest for me, myself and the bands that I work with since since the very beginning. Then we're coming to the words like Satan. And it has always been there, it has always been the limitless and rebellious creature which is um, somehow we feel like we're being represented by by this word but making a uh, making it our religion I wouldn't really go this way and what do you listen nowadays if what metal and non metal bands uh, well currently I was just working on an our uh, 
sessions for the shows and that was the, the thing that I was listening to for eight or ten hours a day so there was not really too much time for the music but well there's a lot of stuff always and I'm I'm not really trying to limit myself to metal music only and, and when I'm at home well I'm a fan of music in general and I try to know as much as I can about it all and well um I'm actually the older I am the more I uh, discover about the old bands and, and one of my newest very old bands actually is, is New Model Army which I'm discovering now after hearing the last album I was never a fan of this man I've heard a song or two you know but it was was just passing it by somehow and and for me it works the opposite way now I'm, I'm listening to something which is recent and then trying to dig and dig and dig very deeper and I and I'm discovering brilliant things you know so yeah that's one of them but there's there's plenty and do you follow what's going on in the underground do you see any promising bands uh, well I'm following what's happening in, in Polish underground and try to be close to it but uh, I think we have um, better people in the band to talk about the underground, which is Inferno, who's the who's the guy uh, who knows everything about it. I'm, I'm not really following it very much. And what's your top five Evergreen favorite albums? Ooh, that's a hard question. <sighs> Well, I can definitely name uh, Anthems of Emperor, that's for sure. Uh, well, I don't know. There's so many of them. <laughs> uh, let's, just, let's just stick to this one, which is always hard to find, you know, it's always hard for me to to name one thing that I like the most and I think I've just made it, so let, let's keep it this way. Any last words to the fans? Uh, last words for the fans? <laughs> well, we've just started uh, these tours and we're really excited about everything that's happening and, uh, with the album and everything. So thank you very much for, uh, um, for being so good to us and for, and for staying with us for such a long time. And hopefully we'll see you at the shows for the Satanist. Cinque. Thank you.